Y'all, I have no inspiration on what I'm going to cook today, so I keep a lot of my favorite stuff over there in my little kitchen cart, my recipes. I need to get back to my sourdough starter. It's in the refrigerator. I need to bring it back to life again and try it again, but I have a good sweet bread recipe that I think I'm going to just start off making and then maybe create something out of it, whatever strikes me as the day goes on. <laughs> maybe I'll make homemade pizza or a pizza wrap or something. So I stir this up really good and I put this in the microwave for about 10 minutes because I want to see that it's going to bloom. It's going to froth up really good and we're going to have good dough that's going to rise. Sometimes you can have yeast that's old and it's just not going to work good and I don't want to go ahead and mix it in the bread before I know. So I give it 10 minutes and we'll look at it in 10 minutes and I'll be able to tell you if it's going to work good for the bread. So there it is now. Alright y'all, get the old red mixer out. Hello Wallace, I'm using your mixer. Hope you're having a good day. Hello Murphy. Sugar, because this is sweet bread. One egg. All right, so you want to oil your pan that you're going to put your bread in to rise. I always use this. It does great. Did this work? Mm -hmm, it's pretty frothy. All right, I got to melt my butter. Somebody gave me, I think my mother-in-law gave me some little butter melter thing. Let me see if I can find it. This little thing right here. But I tried it and the lid blew off of it and there was butter all over the microwave. So I haven't used that again. I don't know, y'all ever tried that? I'll just do it the old fashioned way. A bowl with a napkin over it. Butter in here. It's I love making bread. I think it's ready to rise. All right, so I think it's risen pretty good. That's fluffy. We're going to punch the dough. Now this can stay in the refrigerator for a couple days. You don't want to use it right away, but I'm going to use it for dinner. So we'll just go ahead and put it in there and get it back out later. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. It is sunny here today, chilly. We um, were in the 20s last night and haven't warmed up a whole lot yet, but the sun's out and it is making my greenhouse so warm. Just feels like summer in here. It is actually 79 in here. I'm going to show you guys my seeds. I started some herbs. And I'll look at the date on them because I did I did put the date. Let's go, let's see what they look like. Probably could go ahead and take the top off these. Oh, look at that! My dill is coming up, and my oregano. Ooh, now that is just lovely. I think this afternoon I'm gonna stick them over here in the sunny side and let them get some sun. Now these were started on 118 and today is the 24th. Six days, so they came up in six days. That's really good. This is cilantro and parsley. Now, I started this on the 20th and I don't see it yet, but it's probably just a little too soon for that. So we'll stick that back on the germination mat. Hi buddy. We got this guy in here. He um, was in Seth's tank. I have. So I've got a little transformation of tanks going on right now. I sold my big one because I wanted to get a bigger one. And I moved some fish into Seth's tank and he decided to start eating those little snake fish that Seth had. Yeah, he thought they were a meal. So he's kind of in here until I can get another aquarium. I just can't find them. They kind of come in and out. So hopefully they do and I'll get them set up again. Good afternoon. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is a windy day here. Not super cold, but just windy. I think we're kind of in the 50s. Um, I think it's supposed to cool off though. They're saying snow flurries maybe in the morning. But I've got to get some wood 
Gotta fill up the wood rack. Gotta go check my greenhouse. Gotta go check the chickens and feed my fish, all that good stuff. Gotta clean out my pellet stove. Probably needs it. Oh, yep. Now I use this ash. I put it in my raised beds and kind of in my flower beds or down in my garden. It's good for composting. So that is one thing I do. I try to use a lot of stuff that I have around here for growing things. Y'all, I had to get a couple little fish to put with my other one down here. Y'all doing? I think they're doing good. I like to use their fertilizer for my plants. Works out pretty good. I also thought about getting like some rabbits for their fertilizer. I know that it's super good and it's just ready to go. You don't have to like compost it. But I, I don't really have like a rabbit enclosure of any sorts. So I'm still kind of pondering on that one. What do y'all think? <laughs> They're cute, but I want to make sure I don't jump in too quickly. Look at that leaf, makes them open up. Very happy plant. Got my ginger. I've got me a little egg bucket. Gonna go down here and get these golden nuggets from the chickens. You know, everybody talking about the egg prices and everything. Craziness, craziness, y'all. Hey, chicky chicks. Look at y'all, y'all are doing so good. <laughs> They're going out their little hole they've created. They've got a little tunnel right there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my, y'all. Y'all are so little. <laughs> so cute. Let's get back in your little hay hut. It's windy. Oh, look at that super windy out here but my coop is located in a really good spot the weather comes from that side so it's all protected from the weather and then these two sides we may have some weather occasionally but the front hardly ever does we never get wind coming from this direction and I've got fence panels up with a little bit of airflow over the top so when the winds going crazy through here you don't feel it in here it's great it keeps the chickens warm and this little hay hut down here is super warm. These little chicks have done awesome. I keep that sweeter heater on for them and it is really, really warm. Y'all, I'm still pondering on the garden situation. I'm trying to decide on what I'm gonna put around it this year. I looked into the poultry netting, which is crazy expensive, enough to go around my garden and have a little bit extra for the chickens to maybe to come out and roam around in was 700 and something dollars which whoo y'all that's a lot i was a little not not real sure if i wanted to pay that much especially in today's time um i guess it depends on how good it lasts that'd be another thing if y'all ever use the poultry netting the electric netting it's got like a sol solar energizer so it doesn't have to be plugged in it uses the, the sun um i know it would would keep away the predators but I'm just still trying to debate if there's something cheaper. But if I'm gonna let my chickens out, I know that would be an ideal situation. And they do fine inside of the here, but it would also help on a feed bill. So there's just a few things I have to look at, but if anybody's ever used it, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I do get a snack, y'all. And I don't know how to dress. It's really hard when you're doing wood, like really. It's 56 out here, but there's like gale force winds. So it's like cold, and then you start doing wood and you're getting hot, but you don't want to take off your jacket and your toboggan because it's super, super windy. I don't even know. I don't even know how to dress around here in East Tennessee. I mean, it's 60 one day and it's 30 the next. They're saying like snow flurries in the morning, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just keep on these clothes and sweat. All right, let's get the rest of this wood. Okay. Burning a wood stove is so rewarding. It's a lot of work. OK, 
because my husband, he has to attain all the wood, get it up on the wood splitter, split it, and then we gotta stack it to dry out. And then we have to restack it for the winter over here. And then I tend to the stove mostly throughout the whole entire winter. I do the stove because I'm home all day and I get up at night and I feed it. And depending on how cold it is, you have to feed it more. But it saves so much money on our heat bill. We used to have like the most expensive months out of the year, like January and February, it could be close to 400, even that much. And our heat bill this month, which it got super cold last month for a little while, and our heat bill was 158, which is probably the most it'll be all winter, which I am super stoked about. It really saves a lot of money, and it's so warm. All right, I gotta put my stuff up, but my bread has risen a lot. <laughs> 